Good evening, it's Gerald here on Symphony 924's Homebound, and right now in the studio with me is Maestro Chungye as well as Tanner Warren Mock. Hello, welcome Hi, to Symphony. Hi, how are everyone? You? Very good, very good. Now, today we're going to be talking about uh, the two concerts that the SEO will be presenting, uh, including uh, Tanner Warren Mock. Now, uh, Maestro, tell us a bit more about the first concert and why the name Essence of Nanyang. I think for Singapore, the Nanyang repertoire is what we have been creating mm. very mm. successfully in the last. Mm. Uh, 12 to 15 years. Yes. So that's why this uh, program is called Essence of Nanyang because there's several pieces there is uh, very representative of Singapore. For example, uh, the uh, the piece called Rambutan. Rambutan. Yeah, <laughs> and it's uh, about a, a fruit we all are familiar with and uh, written by a Malaysian composer Simon Kung. We took the Marco Polo's trip back to Italy on the way. Yes. Actually passing by Malacca. Ah. Aha! And, actually, and uh, the composer actually putting a lot of uh, Southeast Asia flavor. Right. Even a little bit from Chong music is mm -hmm. there. Ah. And Warren could be singing yes. Marco Polo. That's right. With so, a golden what? voice <laughs> along with beautiful, beautiful soprano Wu uh, Bixia together. Wubisha. Yeah. So I what is know. the role that you'll be singing? Well, as uh, you might know, the story of Marco Polo, actually Italian guy, although I'm Chinese, you know. <laughs> Italian guy went to China and uh, in this piece you know, he fell in love with a beautiful Chinese mm -hmm. princess, yes. you know, Princess Blue. Mm -hmm. So Actually there was a Mongolia prince, but you can still call Chinese. Well, okay. <laughs> the greater China say it that way. I, I think so. Yeah. Okay, thank anyway, you. Anyway, so uh, it's a beautiful melody. Yes. I mean the stories in this piece are very simple, just fell in love with her and then you know, maybe it's just, just admiring, you know, you never know mm -hmm. whether, it, whether it happened or not. Yeah. Uh, the music is by uh, Liu Yuan, mm -hmm. uh, Chinese composer, mm -hmm. and uh, this piece was this morning, actually really this morning, I had a rehearsal with Maestro Chong Ye and the uh, Singapore Chinese Orchestra with the first beat down. I fell in love with this music. It's mm -hmm. really beautiful with uh, lots of, uh, you know, the essence of Singaporean, mm -hmm. the, you know, the Southeast Asia, the melodies and the mm -hmm. instrument sounding. And plus the orchestra is very beautiful. You know, normally mm -hmm. Chinese orchestra are really loud and noisy. <laughs> but this time it's very beautiful, beautiful, harmonious and legato? soft. Uh, absolutely. Without legato it's <laughs> legato. not called music. It's called screaming or yelling. Yeah, that's true. So in what this... I have to interrupt that uh, the Chinese orchestra doesn't have to be loud. It can be soft well, as well. It if you do the well. Oh thank you. It depends yes. on the conductor and the orchestra. orchestra. Thank you. And yes. I must say Justifying that, this, that. Yeah, the that's single important. the Singapore Chinese orchestra is definitely one of the best Chinese instrument yes. orchestra yes. in the world. I have to agree. I'm not applause, you know. <laughs> I'm not really just uh, yes. saying that because Very I'm in Singapore. Yes. 